All right, the next one is from Gary. He says, when scanning through the SERPs, I came across several directories that looked like they were designed back in the early 2000s that are free, but require a link back to them. Do you think building these types of sites is still a thing? I would have thought no, but clearly they must be paying their renewals. Uh, I would love to get your opinion on this method of building these types of sites. Um, Gary, I wouldn't recommend, like I think they're useless and um, I don't know what, how some of those are still valid or uh, you know why anybody would pay for any of that shit, but there's a lot of people that don't understand what really works and what doesn't. A lot of business owners just pay checks when people send them bills or emails that state like, hey, you know, you're going to lose your Google rankings unless you pay for this, which I'm sure you guys have seen those kind of notifications as well. Uh, it's scam. It's pure bullshit. But some, you know, some unsuspecting business owners don't don't know any better and they'll just pay it. So perhaps that's how they they remain active. Um, I know there's a ton of scraper sites out there <clears throat> that are like just straight up link farms. Like in other words, they're sites that would just post all of the domains. Like it, they're they're absolutely worthless, and we see a lot of those. Um, you know, bestwebdirectory.com, top link directory. You know, like you see all these all the time. And they're just scraper sites that go out and scrape and publish domains for whatever reason. They're worthless. I don't know why, how, like, I don't even know what the purpose of those sites are, to be honest with you. Um, how do people monetize them? Why do they do it? I don't understand. Um, but they're, they're a nuisance is what they are. So, no, I wouldn't recommend building any of those. I don't know why they're still out there. I don't really know what the kind of monetization model is for those types of sites. Just ignore them. Um, I wouldn't go through the process of, like, disavowing them and all of that, if that makes sense, linking when they're linking to your money, your target assets, because they are so common. Most websites, again, all I do is local. So when I'm looking at, when I'm analyzing local projects, which I do a lot of, um, looking at backlink profiles, I see those kind of like scraper sites all the time in backlink profiles. They're common for all local business type websites. So when I first started discovering those, you know, a year and a half, two years ago, I, I thought, well, these are really spammy sites. I should disavow these. And I did for a while there. I was actually I would I would locate those types of scraper like directory sites that were linking to, um, you know, clients websites. And I would uh, submit disavow files to Google for each one of those um, sites that I would find. And I would disavow the domain, not just a page, uh, not, not just a URL. Um, but I, you know, again, after starting my link building business and I've got, you know, I manage, I don't know, about 40 locations. Now I'm always constantly analyzing backlink profiles of local businesses. And I found that those are, those type of scraper sites are common across almost every, every type of industry. And so, and when I'm looking at competitive competitors, uh, backlink profiles, I see them in th those as well. So the whole point that I'm trying to make is don't waste your time trying to disavow those types of links when they are linking to your sites, just ignore them because they basically are providing no value whatsoever. And I can't imagine that they're causing any harm because they are so common. They, they would harm everybody that they link to, if that makes sense. So um, just ignore them and uh, don't, don't, don't spend any time or energy trying to build those either is what I'm saying.